the reading of the New Testament in the Holy Bible, King James Version, as translated, well, the New Testament, as translated by the Gullah culture. This is the Gullah Bible. As usual, we just go any place in the Bible, just pick a spot. I'll just pick this spot here, don't know what it is. Go to page uh, 507. The Apostle Dem 28, I don't know what that is, in Rome. Let's do 16 right here at the top. When we get to Rome, they ain't pit Paul in the jailhouse. They let him live in a house by if, but they have a soldier garden him. Translation. So I gotta put my glasses on for the translation because it's smaller than the trend, you know. Well, the King James they put here is smaller. The Guller is bigger. I guess that's a statement. I don't know. 16. And when we came to Rome, the centurion delivered the prisoners to the captain of the guard. But Paul was suffered to dwell by himself with a soldier that kept him. Oh, okay. Ooh. Historical record, I guess. Well, I mean, the Bible's scriptures has reported by them, you know, years later. So we don't know how historical it is. But there's indications. When we get to Rome, they ain't put Paul in the jailhouse. They let him live in a house by his, itself, but they have a soldier guarding him. Hey, I like the Gullah translation better. I mean, you know, again, 16 translation. And when we came to Rome, the centurion delivered the prisoners to the captain of the guard. But Paul was suffered to dwell by himself with a soldier that kept him. I usually don't make any uh, uh, references here, at least on the weekday mornings. But that reminds me of like, uh, you know, solitary confinement or whatever. You know, like they had um, in South Africa, there was Mangalisa Robert Sabukwe. They did that to him. They put him in a house by himself, gave him a guard. The guard couldn't even talk to him. Interesting. Anyway, this has been a reading of the Color Bible by me, T, from the Patterson's Technic Trench to Bed, let you know what I only suspect.